and the Mariners dropped their first spring training game of the season of 2024. How did this all happen? You will find out after a word from our sponsor, SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a mobile ticketing app for sporting events, concerts, and other events. They make the buying experience easier by the app ranking each ticket from 0 to 10 to see if you are getting a good deal, and you can see exactly where you are sitting. I regularly use that app, and I have had nothing but a fantastic experience with SeatGeek. Use my promo code ROOFTOPSPORTS to get $20 off of your first purchase. Link to the code, app, and website will be in the description, so take advantage, and thank you. So yes, the Mariners did drop their first game 8-7 to against the Chicago White Sox. So yes, the Mariners did drop their first game against the Chicago White Sox 8-7. to The Mariners did have a comeback effort at least where they were down several times, but unfortunately it just did not happen. Now, let's, I want to point out some things that did happen throughout that game. So Ty France, he actually got a hit on his first at-bat, and it looks like that driveline workout that he did throughout the offseason, the same thing that J.P. Crawford did last season, it looks like it's paying off. I know, it's just only one game so far, so let's just not overkid ourselves. But he did look good. It looks a little bit faster. The hustling was there compared to what was last year. But unfortunately, Mariners did have a chance to score where they had the bases loaded, and they still didn't score, which was very disappointing. Something that I'm very we're all used to from 2023, where they kept leaving the bases loaded several times. Then the White Sox eventually did take the lead to make it two to nothing, but eventually Mariners did come back and they did tie the game. But then Chicago scored again. They did score again to make it five to two. But then we saw contributions from Cole Young, Jonathan Classe with their RBIs. Classe, who's one of the outfield prospects for the Seattle Mariners, he scored. A double. He doubled in a run, so that was really nice. And then Cole Young, nice to see one of our top prospects actually get some game time. Hopefully we get to see him a lot more in spring training because I would like to see what he can do throughout spring training to see if maybe he can have spend a little bit of time in double A and maybe they'll call him up later in the season because that Mariners infield could still have injury issues, which they do. So hopefully maybe he can step up along with the likes of Brian Bliss. And some things I saw in pitching that I really did like was Jackson Kowar, who the Mariners got out of the Jared Kelnick trade. He turned out to be the best and most efficient pitcher in the bullpen. He got two strikeouts in his one inning. But unfortunately, in that bullpen, we saw that Juan Mercedes, he gave up four earned runs. Four. And yes, I know it's the first spring training game, but I don't expect to see him at a major league level. I don't know. And unfortunately, Scott Service did leave him for another inning, which I was not for. But I guess he just didn't want to burn through everyone. And yes, it is spring training, but that is something that I still notice and know of Scott Service in that way is he tends to yank pitchers that pitch really well for that one inning. But the ones that don't pitch so well, he does let them pitch an extra inning. So I would definitely pay attention to that. And another notable highlights was going into, into later in the game where we got to see Samad Taylor hit a home run, and he nearly hit a home run in his first at-bat. So maybe take a look at him because if he may actually do pan out in spring training, which I do hope, maybe he can step up to be one of the utility players along with Dylan Moore because I think Sam Haggerty, I don't know if we could see anything out of him. Now, maybe I'm wrong because... Still got spring training to go. Like, this is literally just the first game, but this is just my first impression. So, then the Mariners found themselves down in the ninth inning, and Tyler Locklear, he got on with a single, who's one of our more hype prospects in the in the minor leagues. And the Mariners eventually took that lead to make it 7-6. to six. But unfortunately, in the ninth inning, the bottom of the ninth inning, the Mariners blew it with walks consecutively, and they gave up a two-run RBI game-winning hit for Chicago to win. Now, the encouraging th- things, of course, is Ty France, Samad Taylor, Cole Young. We got Jonathan Classe, Tyler Locklear. They all stepped up and did pretty well. Downside was, of course, the pitching. Pitching was not good. But don't forget, Mariners didn't even use any of their top pitchers in the bullpen 
at all because we got Matt Brash and Santos. They're having a little bit of some injury issues. And, of course, we didn't really expect Munoz to, to get a yank at his first game. But, again, this is just spring training. I'm just saying exactly what we saw. And players that I am looking forward to see throughout spring training is Tyler Locklear, Cole Young, and Jonathan Classe. So, definitely things to look forward to. I mean, other than that, not really much to say in the spring training game as we still have another whole month to go. But those are just some of my takeaways and I will say that I am very excited what is coming up for tomorrow as we'll see probably different players and hopefully we'll see any of these minor leaguers that are in like double A to triple A and maybe see if maybe they can get an opportunity to make it to the major league level on opening day. Who knows? But that's going to do it. That's Those are my thoughts. Thank you very much for watching. And if you did like this show, hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And thanks for watching.